10 wrestlers secretly blacklisted from WWE. Although WWE has a history of engaging with a wide array of individuals, both past and present, the promotion maintains boundaries regarding its partnerships. Occasionally, certain individuals have garnered such toxic reputations or have extensively criticized the company over the years, making it unwise for WWE to collaborate with them again, or even initially. Sexy Star More than six years have passed since Sexy Star defended her Reina de Reina's title at Triple A's Triple Mania 25. During that event, she defeated Rosemary using an armbar, but regrettably, she refused to release the hold, resulting in Rosemary's arm being broken. Following this incident, prominent figures like Road Dogg and Cody Rhodes advocated for the superstar to be blacklisted. Their rationale was straightforward, we entrust each other with our safety. When that trust is violated, you're no longer part of our community. David Benora. Regrettably, the adage the sins of the father couldn't be more fitting when discussing David Benorah. Throughout the years, he has attended numerous shows and been captured in photographs alongside various wrestling acquaintances and friends of his late father. He had been undergoing training to step into the ring, but it's unfortunate that no reputable promotion worldwide would consider him. The shadow cast by his father's actions looms too large, creating a significant red flag. Throughout his entire career, much like his life, he would likely have to navigate delicately around the subject, constantly treading on eggshells. Cold Cabana The Etold in this instance encompasses wrestlers such as Raven, Demolition, and numerous others, including Cold Cabana, who filed a lawsuit against WWE. Regardless of the lawsuit's outcome, taking legal action against the largest wrestling promotion in the world often results in being blacklisted. In Colt's situation, he, along with former friend Phil Brooks, also sued a WWE doctor over CM Punk's treatment and emerged victorious. When combined with various personalities publicly criticizing the company, it's clear that individuals like those mentioned above, and many others, are unlikely to ever return. But CM Punk did return. Buff Bagwell There may not have been a wrestler more suited for WWE than Buff Bagwell. Consider this, around 2001, he possessed an in-ring style that was nearly perfect, safe yet impactful with a pace that appealed to audiences. Additionally, he had the look that Vince McMahon had long desired, with the exception of height and hair color. However, despite these attributes, Bagwell's time in WWE was short-lived due to a disastrous debut match, coupled with a negative and arrogant attitude backstage. Moreover, an incident where his mother called in sick on his behalf only added to his downfall. As a result, Bagwell never found himself in a major promotion again after less than a month with WWE. Sunny. Almost everyone on this list is responsible for their own downfall, with very few deserving of incarceration. However, for the longest time, only one maintained the unwavering support of her fans. Sunny's devoted followers held on to hope that she would one day overcome her struggles and address the traumas she had endured throughout the years. Unfortunately, rather than making strides towards redemption, she continues to inflict pain on her fans with her reprehensible actions. Unless she demonstrates a genuine commitment to change, she risks spending the remainder of her life behind bars. Gail Kim Arriving on the scene towards the end of the Attitude Era and the dawn of ruthless aggression, Gail Kim possessed the potential to propel the women's revolution in WWE forward by nearly a decade. However, she debuted at a time when matches were often limited to mere minutes, if not less, and bikini contests were commonplace. Instead of making her mark in WWE, she played a pivotal role in establishing the knockouts division in TNA. Although she made a brief return to WWE, her decision to eliminate herself from a battle royal effectively led to her ostracization from the company. She made a vow never to return to WWE again. Enzo Amore When Enzo Amore burst onto the scene a few years back, his microphone skills set him apart as the real one, instantly winning over the WWE universe. However, his abrasive attitude behind the scenes left much to be desired, resulting in a falling out with certain colleagues, including a notable incident involving the tribal chief kicking him off the tour bus. Nevertheless, it was his failure to disclose his involvement in an ongoing investigation just hours before Raw 25 that proved to be the final straw, leading to his release from the company. Months later, his attempt to disrupt Survivor Series by appearing in the crowd resulted in his ejection and subsequent exile. Alberto Del Rio Add two highly toxic and publicly scrutinized wrestling relationships, along with a barrage of criticism aimed at the current head of WWE Creative, and you have a recipe for a man permanently estranged from WWE. 
Alberto Del Rio was once considered a promising talent, holding the unique distinction of winning the Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank, and the WWE Championship all within a single calendar year. However, his off-screen behavior was marred by allegations of infidelity, reportedly involving Charlotte Flair before moving on to Paige, who was considerably younger. Despite WWE's history of overlooking personal conduct for business reasons, Del Rio's alleged abusive behavior, which surfaced in 2020, extinguished any possibility of a return. Velveteen Dream In many respects, few superstars have experienced such a rapid ascent and subsequent decline as the Velveteen Dream. Upon entering NXT, he brought with him a vibrant and creatively charged persona, embodying an androgynous, Prince-inspired character that captivated audiences, even catching the attention of established stars like John Cena. Some fans even saw him as a potential breakout sensation. However, everything changed when allegations surfaced accusing him of inappropriate interactions with underage individuals. This revelation swiftly spelled the downfall of the Velveteen Dream's promising career. Teddy Hart the Hart family is revered as one of, if not the most cherished, in wrestling history. However, even with the family's storied drama and challenges, Teddy Hart has pushed the limits beyond comprehension. Accusations ranging from potential murder to kidnapping have tainted his reputation. His alleged actions are so egregious that they warrant more than just a ban from WWE. They call into question his place in society altogether. Thank you so much for joining us on Wrestling Drama. We hope you enjoyed today's content. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to our channel.